Now, answering your questions about the law and legal issues. This is Legal Break with attorney Gary Bruce. And I'm Maureen Akers. Welcome, Gary. Good morning. Good yes, to be here. Yes, Thank you. Good to have you here. Thanks. All right, let's pull today's question up. Gary, if I perform CPR on an unresponsive stranger and they are hurt during it or die regardless of my effort, can I be sued? Yeah, I, I, this question is timely because of what we saw with the NFL player who collapsed on the field, you right. know, and here come the trained uh, medical people who were able to save him and now I understand he's doing as well as could be expected. So that's, that's great. Um, but in everyday life, what happens at yeah. work, somebody collapses and there's a, there's a defibrillator on the wall and you don't know what you're doing. Um, you know, it's a, uh, can you get sued? You can always be sued. I can be sued for saying something <laughs> stupid today, right? <laughs> Doesn't mean it's going to make it to a jury. I right. mean, I can get thrown out, but right. so can you get sued? Yeah. Uh, the good news is most lawyers aren't going to touch that kind of case if somebody's genuinely trying to be helpful, you know. I mean, that's what we want to encourage. It's the Good Samaritan laws. Right. So those laws do exist, uh, but they're peculiar sometimes. Okay. Well, are they, we live on the border states and right. we've asked this question almost right, every, right, right. Are, they, are the laws different between states? Yeah, and that's what I wanted you to ask. <laughs> right. So anyway, so in Georgia, it's actually pretty uh, well-defined and and, and it helps people out who want to help. It's, uh, I, I've got it, I wrote it down and I don't have to read it, but you can Google it, Good Samaritan Law in Georgia. Essentially, it's when there's a, a, first, a good faith efforts made to render emergency care. Right. So, you know, you, I think that's protected. Yeah. The uh, Alabama, strangely, is a little different. So if you are trained uh, with a defibrillator or a trained medical person and you render aid, and not for compensation, but just to help in a situation, uh, then you'll be protected by a Good Samaritan law. It's a little more questionable whether you're going to be protected if you're just like me and grabs a defibrillator off the wall and starts okay. pumping you or starts banging on your chest. I don't know. It's not as clear. I think it's I think it's a lot more clear in Georgia. The Alabama law is a little more limiting. Really, purposely, I, what I, from what I've read, designed to encourage healthcare providers to provide emergency care. So the laws uh, do differ from state to state, but I think reality is um, we, we, don't, we don't hate on people who try and right. help. Right. You know? So yeah. I think the effort or the, is there to try and codify, uh, yes, good Samaritans, please step in when you can. Yes, help your fellow man. Right. Thank you, Gary. Appreciate it. We'll see you on the very next legal break.